uh, from the, all these list is taken up by steering subsystem so further uh, explanation will be done by my colleague Vipin, unmute your device. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, so, uh, good morning, everyone. I am Vipin, and I'll be heading up with the pr presentation further. So, uh, at first, uh, the process involved to build the present vehicle were listed down uh, with uh, their rating, which were which was done in power and uh, cost per hour and consumption and labor cost. So the highest, so the highest uh, cost consumption per hour was for uh, laser cutting, which we which we have uh, used it for uh, uh, wheel uh, hub. Uh, the okay uh, and. And the lowest was for FDM, which we used for the uh, amounts and uh, other uh, things. And yeah, so so the material cost breakdown was uh, according to this thing. So AISA four one three zero was the material which we used for our uh, chassis, and this was the uh, mostly used material. And the uh, yeah, mild steel sheets. Mild steel sheets were used for mainly for the mounts uh, for placing the components on chassis. And aluminium AISI 6061 was uh, used uh, because of its uh, low density and uh, comparatively high uh, tensile strength. Uh, and, okay. okay, so the types of cost was listed as follows. Material cost, uh, tooling cost, process cost, and the labor cost. Okay, so uh, so we start with the chassis. Uh, this was the uh, we were we were proud uh, we were proud that uh, we uh, built chassis with uh, zero by uh, decisions because uh, this was the uh, this was the thing which we followed uh, from past years and uh, like because we had uh, many good uh, skilled people around us. Uh, so mainframe mainframe was the uh, first thing which we worked on uh, when we started building chassis and uh, and uh, yeah we re reduced the overall cost by uh, building the c brackets uh, in our own and not giving it to uh, the uh, outside workshops yeah so process cost uh, so uh, uh, so now when we say about process first, there are mainly uh, three things which were cutting, grinding, and bending. Cutting, grinding were the uh, mostly um, mostly used uh, uh, processes which we used in uh, fabricating the uh, frame of the chassis because we used for cutting the pipes and all. And bending, manual bending, uh, uh, we went for manual bending where we used two, three pulleys to bend in uh, uh, particular angle. So with this, we reduced our uh, uh, total cost and mag building we preferred mag building over uh, tick welding because uh, even uh, if the cost was a little bit more than tick welding mag welding uh, we were it was like more user uh, user friendly and mag welding uh, uh, yeah it reduces the overall cost of welding things uh, So the process. Uh, the, the next, uh, 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 my teammate uh, uh, Shiva will uh, further continue with the presentation.
good morning everyone my name is sivateja um i'm i like to explain the steering system so steering system plays a very vital role in uh, stability and dynamics of the car so we have total 11 manufactured parts and uh, five bought parts a uh, manufactured part has its upper hand over bought parts so major component in our steering uh, apart from the previous competition is steering wheel so steering wheel it consists of uh, uh, like fabrication consists of uh, uh, reinforcement of aluminum and uh, FD, uh, fdm like the 3d print pla yeah. so uh, why we uh, went for designing and uh, 3d printing is uh, there are bunch of innovations we uh, adopted uh, in this competition like voltmeter uh, um, uh, uh, communication module etc Uh, so for design freedom and uh, flexibility of placing the mounts and switches we have designed ourselves and uh, we have did laser cutting of aluminum and a uh, pla to support the mounts so laser cutting uh, considering a monthly wage of 42000 per labor it costs 87 rupees per the laser cutting and it's one whole cut which can uh, which cost 90 rupees for electricity so it a total of 177 rupees we uh, we had done laser cutting for the steering wheel and uh, uh, coming to the fdm which will be reinforced uh, uh, both uh, uh, behind the aluminum plate for the switch mounts uh, it costed us 300 grams like uh, for the total steering wheel uh, consisting uh, adding the electricity of 3d printer it costs uh, around 120 rupees for fabricating the whole steering wheel so drilling uh, there are uh, mounts to be placed and leds to be placed in the steering wheel which uh, costs uh, uh, makes six drills in the steering wheel which costs around uh, 10 to 15 rupees Uh, so the total cost, uh, raw material cost is of five fifty, and the total processing cost we add it comes to eight hundred rupees. So coming to the wheel and assembly of the entire, um, we have uh, main component, uh, stub axles and hubs. Uh, there are four manufactured and four uh, bought parts. So. Uh, stub axle plays a vital role in uh, connecting the wheel assembly and uh, steering system so we we uh, our we chose to design the stub axle and man uh, fabricate ourselves uh, for a, for appropriate uh, length and uh, dimensions so we used uh, mild steel and en24 for better strength Uh, on different load conditions so cutting and grinding there are two cuts and grinds for the uh, knuckle shaft so uh, taking 8 minutes per cut and an electricity of uh, around 1 rupee or 2 rupees uh, it total costed us uh, 30 rupees and number of drills on the upper main arm uh, were two uh, left and right so we uh, average of 3 minutes uh, the total cost uh, came up to 15 uh, 13 rupees so uh, turning uh, we have done turning in the late mission um, for the spindle, uh, spindle so it costs us uh, with the uh, electricity and consumables like uh, oil coolant uh, 260 rupees and welding of Yeah, and and welding of akar mein arm and the knuckle uh, it was around 90 rupees so total cost processing cost and raw material added uh, it costed completely 1136 rupees so my teammate will explain the bricks good morning my name is milind and i am going to give a brief about the cost report of brick subsystem Uh, we 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 were able to manufacture a few parts, but most of the parts were bought. 
for the brake subsystem. As you can see, master cylinder and piston caliper were bought, but we manufactured brake pedal, rotor, and brake hub. Uh, from the experience of the last competition, we learned that we need to reduce weight, and brake hub was the part where we applied this concept. With the use of aluminum 6061 and uh, topology optimization, we were able to reduce 20% uh, of the weight, that is approximately 30 grams in the brake hub. Uh, we used CNC milling for the fabrication of brake hub, which uh, total time was taken was 120 minutes, which costed us 587 rupees. The total cost to produce the brake hub was 987 rupees. As, uh, the raw materials, fasteners, considering the raw materials cost, fastener cost, tooling cost, unit cost. My teammate uh, Sri Datta will handle the body works cost return. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I will be explaining the body works of our uh, this year's car. Uh, this year we had planned for uh, manufacturing completely uh, the body body parts from the mold to the finished product. Uh, the all the five uh, body body works have been manufactured by us. I would like to explain in this uh, presentation the front body bumper. Uh, the reason for uh, making this bumper in house was the complexity of the design which we had, and the cost. The cost cut if we had done in the industry, the cost would have been increased. So we had chosen for uh, making it in house and the en enhancing the skills of our team. The process involved was the profile cutting. The profile cutting involved the cutting of the high density thermocol using uh, nichrome wire, uh, which uh, took the total time of two hours for cutting, which, in which the labor cost was 170 rupees and total cost as shown in the presentation. Next was the epoxy coating, where 200 GSM uh, fiber cloth was uh, coated with four to five layers with the mixer, with the uh, blender blend of epoxy and the hardener for the uh, proper reinforcement. The final was the finishing part where uh, we had applied the peel ply for uh, the proper finishing of the outermost layer, which uh, took for 25 minutes and the labor cost as shown in the presentation. Uh, summing up, the total process cost uh, involved 300 rupees, involving the raw material FRP and the epoxy, and the total cost ended with. To, uh, 2600. Now I'd like to uh, continue with my other teammate, uh, Srish. Okay, so coming to the final subsystem from the uh, cost report, I would like to continue with the power train. Okay, I would like to show you a comparative table. We had several options for selection of cells, but we went with the 21700 cells for manufacturing of a complete battery. We are very proud to tell that the complete battery, uh, including the accumulator, accumulator container, and all the bus bars and supports were completely fabricated in-house. So we had uh, several options like 18650 cells, uh, 21700 cells, 26650 cells. Uh, but uh, after calculations and uh, several iterations, uh, we were uh, able to conclude to choose uh, 21700 for our battery pack, keeping in, uh, keeping in mind the considerations for the weight and the cost, uh, as well as avail availabilities. Guys, please uh, conclude the presentation ASAP. Okay, sir. Uh, two minutes I will be concluding with the presentation. Uh, for the powertrain, I will like to show you a comparative uh, table. Uh, we had several options for building our battery uh, to choose the cells like 6, 18650, 21700, 26650. But we went with the 21700, keeping in the mind considering the weight, uh, the capacity, as well as the cost. So, 
uh, we i am uh, pri- proud to tell that the complete battery pack including accumulator accumulator container all the bus bars and the supports were fabricated uh, in house keeping all the safety and pa- performance uh, measures in the mind so we choose to uh, make uh, the battery over buying it because of the high power to weight ratio and uh, the new in- uh, new concept uh, or the uh, for, to be the first one to try bed battering in gkdc uh, among these years of competitions so we also have advantages of getting a compact battery pack also a significant cost reduction uh, because of uh, sourcing it from our uh, uh, nearby sources okay uh, this uh, slide so shows us the cost for spot welding as well as fdm spot welding costed us a total of 543 rupees from which 100 rupees was consumable uh, and 408 rupees was the labor cost uh while we come to fdm we had a total cost of 282 rupees from which 192 ma- that is majority of, majority of the part was for electricity 90 was for the labor cost uh and uh, cutting and grinding which was uh, done for the accumulator container the cost was 30.96 rupees So I would uh, like to conclude with the presentation. 